Hello, gem friends. This is Justin K. Prim, and I am back in Hong Kong for part two of my journey through the Hong Kong Gem Show. So in the last video, we were at the Asia World Expo. Today, we are at the Hong Kong Convention and Exhibition Center, and I'm gonna take you through the other side of the Hong Kong show. So the AWE is mostly a color gemstone show. This show is mostly jewelry, antiques, as well as some tools. And I wanna take you through and just give you a glimpse at what this side of the show looks like. So this one is much, much bigger. It's a multi-floor show. And I'm gonna start with the Red Radiance booth, which is the booth that I've been occupying for the last few days, doing fastening demos, and just generally sharing my love of gemstone cutting. So let's go up to the third floor. So this is the Red Radiance booth, and the team has done an amazing job at setting up the booth. As you can see, it's full of incredible displays with lots of rich information about the origin and localities of rubies. And as we walk through, you'll see we've got samples from pretty much every single ruby locality in the world, both rough and cut, depending on where we're looking at. And as we get towards the back, this is my area. So we've got some examples of different gemstone cutting styles. We've got some historical faceting machines going back to the 1800s. And then over here, we've got my cutting demonstration booth. So we've got cameras rolling, we've got video feed overhead, and I've been cutting a stone every single day, showing people how gemstone cutting works, what it's all about, and sharing my passion and love for the art of gemstone cutting. Now, as we turn around the corner, we've got a whole area in this section that looks at synthetic gemstones as well as gemstone inclusion. So we've got all these microscopes set up so people can look inside the microscope and check out some of the inclusions inside of the stones, looking at what makes origin determination work as well as identification of treatments and inclusions. Now, finally, if we go through the back, we've got the dark room where you take a fluorescent light and you can walk through the room and see which stones are gonna light up and which stones are not going to light up. So let's... Oh, and there's light blue in the dark. That is so cool. Right? And the various ruby fluorescing differently depending on their origin. That's cool. Really go to it. <laughs> this is super cool. Yes, I especially use the fluorescent paint such that people can read. That's a clever trick right there. So unlike the AWE show across the bay, this show is all about the jewelry. So we've got three or four different floors full of jewelry manufacturers and jewelry sellers. There's no loose colored stones here for the most part. It's just jewelry. So let's take a look and see what we see. The third floor of the show is all fine jewelry. And you're gonna see every type of jewelry, colored stones, diamonds, gold, platinum, silver, everything. Things from all over the world. And tons and tons and tons of beauty. In the concourses, we have a variety of labs and schools and even diamond grading systems and other institutes. I like the fifth floor because there's all kinds of interesting stuff up here from tools to machines to packaging and display supplies. And I heard that there's a couple fastening machines up here, so let's go and check it out. So coming down the fifth floor tools floor, there is jewels and tools from India. And I passed by this booth the other day and noticed a faceting machine that I had not seen before. So what's the story with this? You guys are making this machine? Uh, yeah, we're making this in India. Okay. 
And so this is kind of like a mass style. This is like an American style machine, right? Right. So you got all your angles over here, mm -hmm. depth gauge. Yes. And then the height control. Right. It is this. Just so then there's a micro height adjustment here. Okay. This is how you change the index. Cool. Do you guys make different index gears yeah. or is it just one? So we, we provide two index with the machine. Mm -hmm. One is 72 and one is 96. Cool. And then speed we provide control. others as well on the quest. Speed okay. Yeah, and the speed control. Yeah. Cool. Very cool. So yeah, jewels and tools. Thanks guys. You've got all kinds of crazy stuff that I don't even know what it is, but it looks awesome. And look at all the gold down there. I've ever wondered where all that fable stuff from the internet comes from. Here they are. Faceting tools, gemology tools, everything. Even the, uh, the Chinese eight-sided handpiece from fable. Here we are. I did not know that this was a booth that you could come and see. Oh look, and here is some friends from Bangkok, our buddies at Sachi Gems, with all of the tools, machines, accessories, and everything else that we love. Here's I David. This is a jewelry tool store from Antwerp. I have a pretty good story where they saved me one time. But that's for another video. Another one of my favorite places at the show is the Antique and Vintage Jewelry's Room. of antiques and vintage and then we come down here and there's even more. I really do love looking at all of the colors and designs of the past. It's so cool. I hope you've enjoyed this journey through the Hong Kong show, both parts one and part two. If you like this adventure, then check out some of my other videos. I've been walking through all the gym shows around the world, as well as lots of other interesting videos about gemstone cutting and history. This has been Justin K. Prim, and I'll see you next time on the Gem Cutter's Craft.